Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we're going to go through the Turtles of Grayskull Ram Man. Obviously the whole crossover. Ram Man now is a evil companion because we've got Skeletor and Shredder on the... or Shredder, Shredder <laughs> on the front. And on the back with the card art you have got the... Teenage Turtles version of the actual slime pit. You've got Krang. Krang is, I think, the only one I am struggling to get. If any of you have got them, let, let us know. Where did you actually get them from? I'm over here in the UK. And it is just quite a struggle to get this guy. But little He-Man there, he's tied up with Mossman. And you've got Skeletor there. Down below you've got the cross cell and the figures that came out with the wave. So let's crack this guy open, have a little closer look. So he comes with the actual little comic there. This one hasn't got any speech bubbles within it. But you've got all like the little figure releases that we have seen already within the wave. But then again you've got that, um, that slime pit variation I wonder will we get it there's Leatherhead there as well still waiting for him to come my way and then the obvious like modular pop-off parts that we've seen with all the origins head arms hands feet waist he comes in this translucent lilac type of stuff that we've seen with He-Man as well I mean, the armour on this guy is absolutely love it. And with it being Ram Man, they have given the nod with the little horns there, as well as the actual feet. It's got like that moose's hoof. <laughs> Round the back, you've got a little part where you can actually pop in. Can you pop in his stuff here? So you can pop in his little axe there. And the actual axe itself, it's got a little, like, noblet, so you can plop them both in together as well. So you could have them just both stored in like so. But he do has, like, sealed, one's a sealed gripper hand, and one's still a gripper hand, but it's a little bit open. So let's have a little look at them with the weapons. Let's go this axe in here. It's quite hard plastic as well. So a little bit of a jiggle and that'll fit in. And then this one has got like a little slidey. So yeah, it is very tight, but I suppose that's a good thing. Movables, the head will bobble, all rotate round. The arms, can they do the 360? They can do the 360. Little bit restricted with this bracelet at the top. The waist goes a whole full 360 as well. And obviously the legs... Let's have a little look-see. They will splay out. And he does have a knee bend as well, and the feet do have a pivot. We'll just have a little look and see him without this armour. So to get the armour off, you will have to pop his pieces off. Well, especially his head. <coughs> And his waist or his skirt part just comes off quite flexible. Pop his waist back on. Now he doesn't have the feature as actual Ram Man, which is still a bit of a shame, really. I thought he would have had still that pop-up type of feature. Just bring in the size of Ram Man 2, the Turtles Ram Man. Like I say, that feature where you would push his legs up. 
It would have been good if they could have done that in some way. But the body on this guy is massive compared to the Origins Ram Man. Here he is, he's got all those like aluminous veins running through that translucent body. But let me know your thoughts with this guy. What do you think of him? Drop us those comments in the box there. While you're there, do the usual like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care.